The Dahlia's path is slowly moving north of central Florida. As Crystal mentioned, folks in the Tampa St. Pete area being warned about potential winds, dangerous storm surge from this storm. Fox's Madison Scarpino joins us now from St. Petersburg with more on this. And uh, Madison, you may be a little bit south of where this thing might really hit. Hey guys, yeah, that's right. Uh, like Crystal was just saying, landfall expected to happen sometime tomorrow. We're here in downtown St. Petersburg, a bit more inland. As you can see behind me, uh, trees blowing in the wind a little bit. It's starting to ramp up. We've seen some rainfall all on and off, but over the next few hours, that's probably going to intensify a lot. And as of yesterday, several Florida counties were ordered to evacuate. And according to the National Weather Service, over 5 million people are under a hurricane warning right now. So some really scary stuff for the state of Florida. And you guys mentioned those storm surges. That is perhaps the biggest concern right now. A storm surge of up to 12 to 15 feet is possible in some of the Big Bend region. Another thing that's not working in Florida's favor are the ocean temps. Hurricanes thrive on warm water. And the Gulf of Mexico's water has been hotter than normal for weeks now, acting really as a fuel for Edelia. And there's currently 49 counties under a state of emergency here, and Governor Ron DeSantis has deployed thousands of National Guard members to help with storm relief efforts. And people here say this is always a stressful time of the year, really that peak hurricane season in Florida. And some think that a lot of people don't take these warnings serious enough. We think we're golden. Eventually, maybe not. And this you know, on the beach, certainly on the, on the west side of St. Pete, uh, this will have an effect. It'll have an effect, St. Pete, clear water all the way up. Um, it, there will be property damage. There will be flooding. There hopefully no loss of life. And here in downtown, we're still seeing people out and about, still seeing cars on the road. We'll see if that continues as the hours go on. Hopefully it won't. But of course, we're going to be out here all night long and the next few days, keeping you guys updated every step along the way. In St. Petersburg, Florida, Madison Scarpino, Fox 10 News. Yep, stay safe, and we will see you in the, over the next couple of days, Madison. Thank you. Another live look from Florida tonight. This is from our Earth Cam in Naples. This is along the southwestern part of the state as well, but quite a bit south of where Madison is reporting from tonight. The camera looking west into the Gulf, and you can see right here Naples getting lucky. The worst part of Idalia really will move north of them, but the dark clouds are expected to bring plenty of rain to shore.